Hey Joe, what's up? Now it's Ryobi Power Tool time. Yay, Joy, what do we got here? We got the gas-powered, handheld Ryobi two-cycle gas jet fan blower. There it is their most popular, power, their most powerful handheld blower at 520 cubic feet per minute at 160 miles an hour. And it's got a three-stage fan designed for maximum cleaning power. Full crank engine for longer life. I'm not sure what yeah. Not sure what the hell that means, but anyway, it's a full crank engine for longer life. Then we had the 18 inch gas chainsaw, powerful 38 cc, but the tag at the um, Lowe's at home at Home Depot said 37 cc. So we'll find out. Powerful engine for fast cutting. Um, anti vibe handle, adjustable automatic oiler, toolless air filter cover. Yay! Alright, so let's pick one and open her up and see what we got here. I'm going to kind of open the box on this one because I had to get my gas can to put a mix in it. So I was trying to see what it said in the owner's manual about what the mix should be. Whether it should be 40 to 1, 30 to 1, 50 to 1. But I couldn't find anything, of course. But they give you in the owner's manual, they actually give you a little thing of... Um, Two cycle oil that's good for one gallon. I think it was um, 2.6 ounces per gallon. So, whatever the mix would be, so that's just what I went by. So, hopefully, it'll be the same mix for the chainsaw. It should be. Anyway, we get cardboard. We get a uh, whatever. And then we got it inside the box itself. We got Lower yourself. There we go. There she is. There's our crank handle. I guess that's going to be our speed controller. We got a, um, we're marked here for a, looks like a, where am I at? Trying to get my frame. Oh, my lens is over here. There we go. Looks like I got a low, medium, and high kind of thing. Right there, uh, I guess that's our on and off, our, our blower, and full idle, full power, etc. Right there, so I guess we can lock it, yep, that's a trigger lock, that's a full power, idle, or, yeah, anyway, y'all get the idea. There's the blower, we're going to test that joker out. Now... Oh, and I guess if you want to, this piece here just slides over there, twisty locked, and boom. Whew. All right. Set that joke off. Let's get to the chain. Got that little case. That's nice. And let me get y'all up here so I can see what the hell's going on myself. And here's what comes in the box. We're going to come with the, okay, good. Comes with a screwdriver. What is that? Yep. A little screwdriver slash spark plug wrench. That's nice. And yep, it's going to be the same exact mix as the blower because that's the same exact oil. So there we go for that. That's going to be our, for our chain lube and our gas. And then turn it around. 
We're going to have our little primer bulb, our choke, and yep, yeah, that's going to be about it. Now, y'all give me a minute. We're getting ready to demo all this good stuff because I have a mess. Y'all wait till we get in the backyard. Those of y'all that have a normal life and work normal jobs and y'all just get to do this crap on weekends, y'all be thankful. We got a mess around here because I haven't been able to get to it. All right. We'll be right back with y'all on testing. Ah, crap. All right, y'all. What I'm going to have to do, because I don't have a filmer, is we're going to get this bad boy fired up. I just got it fired up. And, I mean, it wasn't. Boom. So, let's get this joker fired up. First thing we had to do is we had the primer bulb right there. Get the primer bulb full. You'll see it looks like green gas. And we're going to hold the trigger in. We're going to put it on run because we're not really cold, so we don't need full choke. And just give her a yank. Oh, that handle looks loose, do not Oh, that's the anti-vibration handle. All right, it's going to be noisy, but let's go. We're going to handheld film it. See, we got some sticks right there. Part of what I got to do later is clean up this curb line. Now look at that. I don't know why nobody else's curb looks like mine does. Look at this crap. Nobody else's curb does that but mine. Let's see what it got. So that's a, this is just a quick test, y'all. Things gonna work great. It's gonna make my life a whole lot easier. All right, I can kill it. Anyway, all right. All right, y'all. Y'all see this big mess I got before me? Hello. Okay, we got our little Ryobi chains off. Yep. Let's get her. Up. We're gonna hit that limb right there. That limb is probably about four inches in diameter or so. Like butter. Done pretty good, y'all. She done pretty good. Let me get over there. What is that? That's a 19-year-old border collie. We got her. Come on, girl. Watch her. Uh, watch my finger, hun. She's deaf. Normally they know they know sign language since they were. She should know what that means, but she's about half blind too to come around the other way. There we go. I highly recommend. Ugh. You guys have older dogs. Teach them sign languages while they're young. It's not that hard. Come on. Come on. You just do like that. And then you say, right, 
right? So she's like, what do you want me to go that way for? Come on. Come on, Maggie. Come on, Maggie. Say hello to the people, Maggie. Tell them how good a frisbee used to be, Maggie. Huh? Huh? Come here, baby. Tell them how good of a frisbee dog you used to be. We got the medals and plaques and everything to prove it, don't we, honey? Yes, we do. In the prime of your life, you were the shit. All right, you guys. Y'all met the 19-year-old Maggie. Now, we were basically... I'm not even sure how we got this guy, but this is a three-year-old millennial dog. He has not really moved from this spot. And he tried to get him to go outside. He'll go hide in a corner somewhere because he's afraid he's, you're going to get him to try to do something that he doesn't want to do. Because watch this. I show, I show Maggie a frisbee. Oh, look at that face. Oh, look at that face change. Yeah. Now watch this when I show him a frisbee. What? Oh no. Don't make me try to do. Oh no. He's going to kill me with it. In the meantime, look at the 19 year old. Look at her. It hurts her teeth now, her teeth. And look at Cowardly Lion. Come on, Chewie. It's okay, Chewie. You can bite it. It's okay. I know, some of y'all going to hate me and going to be like, you're terrorizing that dog. You see the fear in his face. No, I'm just showing y'all the difference between them. Look at this. 19. And she's kind of on her last leg, to be honest with you. That's kind of why I kind of cut it off a minute ago. Because, um, yeah, it might. Anyway. All right, y'all. It's about an hour. We got all that chopped up with our little Ryobi. Our stuff there, we just kind of just got to finish getting this stuff here. I like to use boxes, y'all. If y'all if have them, into, that's a nice little yard tip trick if anybody's not doing it. Get you some boxes. They're like $2, and you take them up, you gain some extra height. They hold sticks a lot better in case you have one of those crazy um, um, deals with the yard waste people don't want to pick your crap up. Get out of here, millennial. See? Now we actually like he wants to do something. Watch. He's outside. I'm going to get that frisbee. Y'all watch him when I get the frisbee. And y'all watch her, and y'all watch him. Look at her. Jerry. Catch. Uh. Where you going? Where you going, Chewie? Oh. Why are you running off in there for, Chewie? Oh, did somebody ask you to do something you didn't want to do? Oh, ain't you the little millennial dog? All right, guys. Don't ask me about that. We'll just catch y'all later.